Okay, these are valves I do like. Uh, I installed them on the tank, so I couldn't exactly show them to you. Sorry about that. All right, for the big, you know, big, big valve, I like this one. Guess where I got it? Yes, U.S. Plastics. Full three-quarter inch thread into a bulkhead connector, which I got from U.S. Plastics. Barbed. Fits right onto the input hose to my filter. I can do this much tank without ever having to throw something into it. So it's more than just a sample. It's actually a production valve. Um, might have wished they put it someplace else. I didn't. Okay. It's got a good robust handle onto it. That valve seat, it doesn't crack. It's different. So it's a good valve. Um, I like it. It's big. It can handle the volume that I want to pull through it. It's not limpy. It's got the barb on it. We're talking about a pretty good valve here. Down here, I really like these. <clears throat> um, they are, to me, most everything the valve is supposed to be. Am I in focus? Kind of. There. Sorry. One. Guess what that is? That's a true three-quarter inch normal pipe thread going into a bulkhead connector that's been fixed so it, it doesn't leak. It's got little ears on it. You hand tighten it, but it gives you something to work with. Very nice. Nicer yet. It is self-draining. If you notice, it's got the little valve thing there. That's pretty sweet. It doesn't have the barbs, but you can slip a hose onto it, so I can't complain too bitterly. Although I wish it did put barbs on it. What's really nice is, you know when you tighten this thing up and the valve's facing that way or facing that way? Not a problem. No problemo. That valve can be spun and it won't leak. You tighten it till it's tight. You put the valve where it belongs. So you, you know, you've got something really good going on here. I like this valve. Guess where I got it? Yes! U.S. Plastics. I hope, hey, all you vendors out there, I hope you're listening to that. If you're going to resell these for the convenience of your customers, stay away from the crap. Buy good valves. Some good valves. You can, you can mark them up 100% and compete with the mail order people because that's how much cheaper they are from U.S. Plastics. I did not buy this valve from U.S. Plastics. I bought it from a big bag, box hardware store. It's a great valve. I like it because it's like easy. I lied. It's usually easy to open and close, but hey, look at that. That's not a leak, by the way. That's a spill. There's a difference. It's a goof on my part. This is a fully draining tank. When it stops, it's done. Uh, nice elbow in there. It's easy to clean out. And that brings up a point. You'll notice I have a, a band here. That's so that when this threads in, it doesn't spread the softer material and cause it to crack. That holds those threads tight, so it doesn't leak. Um, the other thing is I loosen this and I take these off between batches so I can actually inspect inside and clean this, and anything that may have settled on top of the threads in there gets rinsed out also. So sanitation-wise, this is a very nice kind of a rig. You'll notice I have just a scaled down version of it right over here on the smaller tank. That's normal, your normal water line pipe um, glued together and it has served me very well. Let's see, can I have a spill? Look, Ma, a spill. Okay, but that's not leaking. I'm so happy. So I wanted to show you this. I hope this. Uh, Helps you make decisions about tanks. Um, Verbalize pause. I sound like a former president. I'm sorry. I am acquainted with some people who work commercially and ferment in plastic. They are using 55 gallon drums. It just works for them. Their customers don't seem to mind. Okay, more power to them. I like these. Uh, yes, I paid much more for them but I find them easier to clean. I like what I'm seeing. I have a good airlock. I have a good access on the top. They're a lot easier to clean than a closed, excuse me, closed top drum. 
So the hard part for me was finding fittings for them that were appropriate for what I was using. These are initially biodiesel bio inductor tanks, but they are made from food grade plastic. Um, they're, who retails them and where you get them? Always two different things, right? But that's for the 15 gallon tank, just to give you something to dwell on. This tank claims to be 60 gallons. That's the 50 gallon line. So when you start getting a good burble going in there, I don't want it popping out the top and getting dirty and making it messy up there. I'm inclined to stop at 50. Same thing, 15 gallon tank, fortunately, it really, that stops down here. So we're good to go. Okay, um, I hope to, I'm not going to fill both tanks tomorrow. The 15 gallon tank will certainly be filled. And I hope to get maybe 30 plus gallons into big boy there. Uh, if not, I am, I'm going to dose it and stabilize it and find me some more juice until I can fill it. And then let the yeast eats begin. That's all I've got. Thank you very much for your attention and your support. If you have more questions about plastic hardware, something I haven't touched on because maybe I haven't needed it yet, hey, shoot me an email. Let me know and I'll investigate it. I used to do um, sample testing in my past life, so I am I get pretty rigorous. I'll I'll shop around. I'll I'll put people to task for making crap, and I'll steer you clear of it. This is not crap. This stuff is this is working for me right now. Let's just hope I don't spring a spill. Take care. Bye-bye.